Wells was one of the artists who had been here and growing strong with this gallery for a number of years by then. Um, we, I think, have admired each other's work because we, we both work figuratively from time to time. I see one landscape or uh, floral work here. But Cookie's work is primarily figurative. It is free. It is flowing. It is the epitome of her personal spirit, which is an open, generous, and beautiful spirit. And I have enjoyed her friendship all these years, and I know that those of you who know her personally also feel that same way. Um, I have had the pleasure of meeting Tom and seeing some of his work not only here in the gallery for this exhibit, but also in the home of uh, some patrons of ours who have commissioned him to do specific pieces for their home, and it's just exquisite craftsmanship. Um, I'm blown away by just the few pieces that I'm seeing around us here, and I can tell you that uh, the challenge does not go unmet for him to create something beautiful and um, inspiring for you, should that be the case. So I will turn the microphone over to Cookie. Thank you. I should let uh, Liz speak for me. She's way better than I am. <laughs> I am so glad to see everybody uh, after the week we've had. It's good to celebrate. Uh, I really want to thank Liz Spencer and um, Kevin for keeping those figure drawing classes or sessions going because every one of these figures was drawn on, uh, in those uh, drawing sessions. So I really thank you. And I really want to say an extra thanks to Harold Joyner, one of our curators. He went a little bit of, uh, above the call of duty with helping us and helping Tom put this together, bring in furniture and all that. Anyway, we're just so glad that we're here on time, on schedule. <laughs> and um, so uh, let me start with a little story about why Tom is in this show with me. <laughs> there's, a, there's a Tom club. It's Tom Urban, Tom Perry, and Tom Wells. I call it, I call it the Tom club. Suggested this to Tom one day at one of their luncheon meetings. I don't know what they're talking about, but anyway, he says, why don't you show your furniture and cookie show? I said, great idea. And then I knew I really had to step it up. <laughs> so I, I thought, well, you know, I do figures. That's my main, you know, uh, uh, thing that I paint. I've always painted. A, uh, and I said, how, you know, how can I get this to look somewhat where it goes with furniture? So, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I decided, you know, there's one thing that Tom and I both love, enjoy. It's nature, it's gardens, it's landscaping, gardening. Anytime we go to any city, uh, we usually, you know, search out for a, a garden or botanical garden. So it's always been a love of ours. So I thought, I, I think I'll just put some beautiful nature, trees, floral, whatever, but just make it a very natural setting for these colorful figures that I do. So um, on a technical basis, I work on Yupo paper, which is a Japanese paper that is sort of like painting on plastic because the paint just really sets on the paper and doesn't absorb. So I get uh, these really vibrant colors and textures that just the paint does itself uh, with a little help from me. But uh, I just really have enjoyed doing these pieces. So I kind of, you know, moved into the uh, tree world and uh, it, even with my trees they turned into some figurative <laughs> sort of trees. I think this is the only one that's not a figurative tree. Anyway, 
Uh, I really did enjoy doing this, and, and you know, Tom and I worked real hard and uh, have wanted to put this show together. And I think that, you know, it's all come together very nicely as a works together. So everybody keeps telling me. I do want to say one I do want to say one thing that I've never forgotten. Tom has always been a great supporter to me. Very supportive. He's just been my rock. And you know, over the years, you know, I've painted, I don't know, if you get into things, you know, uh, whatever, just different things that you uh, are into and you think, oh, I'll just paint some of that or whatever. <laughs> Tom walked up to me one day, best advice he ever gave me, he says, why don't you, you need to paint more of those naked ladies. <laughs>
pick a piece to fit the wood. And for example, on this piece, there's some very unique walnut on the shelf. And that piece I happened to have, and I didn't have the heart to cut it. And so I made a piece to fit around it. <laughs> so uh, that's about all I have to say about my work. I enjoy doing it. I hope you enjoy it. And uh, what I really enjoy is working with this lovely woman over here. Yeah. Yeah.